How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing more Not Meant for Children GTA San Andreas videos. In a previous video, um, CJ and The Truth arrived in San Fierro to a broken down garage. As I showed in another video just after, there are plenty of weapons in the area near CJ's garage. In this video, I'm going to cover a few minor things, then I will continue on with the main mission, which is flowers in your hair. In this mission, CJ begins to establish himself with the help of Kendall, Caesar, and the truth. Let's get on with this video. Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes Yay, where it is every Monday and Friday the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the Yay back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil a little party. All right, man. Every Wednesday and Saturday, you will get a call from Cesar telling you about Big Smoke's um, drug runners. And Cesar calls about another thing. And if you reply positively, you kind of have to go on that mission or overwrite it with a different mission. In this case, I'm going to have CJ get some body armor from the location that I had shown in a previous video because, well, he kind of got in trouble with the law when I was just messing around and he got shot up a little bit. One of the things in this game that happens, but I don't believe happens in other games, is if you outrun the law and you get to your safe house and you save, all your star levels are gone. In other GTA, San Andreas, or not San Andreas, in other videos or video games, that doesn't happen, I believe. But I digress. Now, I'm going to save. Well, I can't save. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get the couriers. So I'm going to end up overriding the courier mission with this mission. Let's begin. Motherfucker! That mute asshole! That fucking snake without a tongue! Gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip! I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world! Holmes! Take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something, and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. 
but the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. This is just a basic uh, errand boy type mission where you got to pick some people up. And actually, once I get the radio turned off, the conversation between the truth and CJ is kind of funny. Crazy ass music. A quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. They were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. So the truth had some crazy times. And you're gonna pick up these dudes where he met them or whatever. And, well, the conversation continues to get more interesting. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. The Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man. We're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District, west of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like, so far gone. Man. Okay, this gets interesting. Uh, you know that these guys are crazy drug users that uh, do some crazy stuff, but they seem kind of cool. And the truth, well, he's going to start taking you on um, some very mysterious rides along the way. What we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Okay, a mysterious van and the truth is being freaky. This next trip to the next person is very short, so I'm just going to talk over to it. And here we go to the next person. Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You want your mom? Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Hmm. I wonder what's gonna be where the cops are. Any guesses, anyone? Well, let's get there a little quickly. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? 
There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Who was him dude? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. Uh, the next guy, Zero, his voice seems, um, how shall I say, kind of familiar. So, I'll bring it up after Zero is picked up. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, Truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. Sup? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Okay, we here. A week of hard work and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development, look. You buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, OK? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> Zero sounds a lot like Lester from GTA San Andreas. So, hmm. They might be the same guy. Also, CJ gets another call. Stopping police business. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. No need to go running over to Zero's place immediately. Um, he does have some interesting missions. You can play through the garage missions or whatever. It's kind of now CJ is establishing his roots and he is going to be a mechanic while Kendall works on investment properties. Kind of interesting. Good character development. Well, as always... Wow, okay, hold on. Two babes. Actually, hookers. There are hookers in this game. And you can pick them up. As is with all GTA games. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.
like my nalgas, baby? Huh? Hell yeah, hop in. So, your pad or your car?